In this video, I will show how to write a service order using Parts and Service in Total Management Evolution Software. From the Parts and Service main menu, I'll select Service Order. The prepared by date and time is automatically populated for you. The prepared by employee's name has automatically been populated based on default settings for this user, but you can change it if you need to. I need to select a payer for this service order. In this case, I'll select Customer Pay. At the bottom, you have the option to select an existing customer or enter a new customer. I'll select Existing. I'll enter the first two letters of the customer's last name, select Enter on the keyboard, and based on my filter, all last names that begin with MC will appear below. Now I found Mrs. McCauley, and I know that there's two vehicles because there's two different VIN numbers here. We'll simply double click on her record. It does not matter which one we select. Now I see both vehicles she owns with a little more detail. I'll select the journey and then click on select vehicle above down here. If the vehicle was sold here at my dealership, most of the vehicle information would automatically be populated for me. If this vehicle were not purchased here, I would need to manually enter that information to build customer history record. Over here on the right, you will see all other service orders that are associated to this vehicle. By selecting this magnifying glass, I can see the details of that specific service order. If this list were longer, and I didn't need to see details of all the service tasks performed on this vehicle, I could simply select Print Service History here, and this would bring up a briefer list for me. If your company prefers to track mileage, your service writer would then enter the mileage here, and at this point we're ready to add our task to the service order. We can do that in two ways. You can use the function keys on the keyboard and select F5, or you can simply click here. And at the bottom here, I'll select a standard task as this vehicle is here for winterization, and that is a common task. You'll notice that the price as well as the parts came in for us automatically. And if I click on this labor tab, you'll see that an estimation has already been entered as well. Now my customer also mentioned a loud clicking sound coming from one of her tires while driving. So I'll set up a separate task for this. I'll select Add Task. I'll enter a brief description here. We obviously don't need parts at this point. We're not sure if we're going to need anything. However, we do need to add labor. Even if it is just diagnostic, we'll give them half an hour for diagnostic. We'll select a technician. Now we can also give our tech some extra information on this task by selecting this note icon here. I'll add customer. Here's clicking sound while braking. We'll come up over here, close, and now we see a highlighted color on the side here. That indicates that there is a note associated to this individual task. We also know that this particular vehicle has a recall. That recall has already been set up as a standard task, so we'll come down to the bottom, we'll select standard task. We'll find and select that recall. And now here we need to change this payer from customer pay to warranty pay, because it's not the customer's responsibility. Then we'll then select who's paying for this warranty. We'll select Winnebago. Now we're going to add a note to this as well. There is an actual LP leak, so we'll just type that in here. And we'll come over here to this folder icon, find and select an image that our customer has given to us, and attach it right to the service order. We'll select close, and there it is. Now I do just want to review here, you do have the option to select different pay codes for each individual task. We have customer, dealer, warranty, insurance, customer, other. This means one service order for all tasks with billing as well as statements. 
that are automatically handled separately without the need of five different service orders open for one customer. Now under the Labor tab, we'll come over and we're going to select Warranty Tech. We're going to put an estimated time in here as well. We'll say half an hour for them as well. And if we go back to the Parts tab, because this was a standard task, this part is already associated for us. Now once all of our tasks are entered, we'll then jump over to the Summary tab and select an estimated delivery time. We'll use the pop-up calendar. We'll select Wednesday of next week. Select OK. And now we'll come over and open the service order. Now at this point, we'll print an estimate for your customer so they have an idea of what they're looking at at price and let them know that we'll call her as soon as I have more information on the sound she's hearing from the tires. I'll also print my warranty company approval form so I can get this sent off for approval as soon as possible. You can print a preliminary task list which gives your service tech the ability to add notes here. You can print a blank parts list. This is for your technicians to request parts. Or you can print a technician task list. This particular form only gives the technician one line for cause and correction on each task, where the preliminary task list gives them more room to put their own notes. In our next video, I will explain how the technician could quickly and efficiently diagnose the vehicle and request parts using the time clock.